Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Russ back again. Today I have the first episode of my MLB 19 The Show Diamond Dynasty series, man. You guys can see the team. Not too bad, man. We got George Springer, Charlie Blackman, Buster Posey, uh, Ronald Acuna Jr., you know, Cody Bellinger. We have some names in there, man. You know, some decent ones. Some of them I don't know as well as others. I know Cody Bellinger, Robert Acuna Jr. is a player that I'm not as familiar with, but apparently... He is a young stud that has a lot of power. So, I mean, we got a, a pretty good card that could be uh, it could be upgraded throughout the year. So, I'm pretty happy about that. We have him in left field. The only problem with our entire outfield in general with Charlie Blackman, George Springer, as George Springer hits a, hits a double to the gap right there. Man, that's a pretty good way to start off this game. We were 0-2 going into ranked seasons. I did try to play two games, and they did not go so well, man. I realized immediately I needed a bit. I needed a bit more practice, you know, a little bit more practice, went and played some Conquest, and then I jumped back in to rank Seasons games, and this was the first one back, you know, and I was like, okay, I think I have a feel for what the hell I'm supposed to do now. So, I mean, we do have some solid players. We have not a ton of skill, if I'm being completely honest. So, going into these games, don't expect a shit ton. You know, I'm trying to get better as the series goes along. It will be the same as my Mutt series. You guys will see improvements. Uh, may not, or may not be as heavy with the team. I mean, obviously, the team will continue to grow but obviously I'm a lot less skilled at MLB than I am at Madden because, I mean, Madden I'm still not great at, but I've played a lot longer than I have the show. And the show is just a game that I have not really been able to get very good at over the past couple years, man. But you know what? This game has started off pretty well. We had back-to-back -back hits with uh, George Springer and Charlie Blackman. We actually end up bringing in two runs, or actually three runs now, after the Cody Bellinger little ground out to, uh, to the shortstop right there. So we start this game off pretty well, man. Three to nothing. But as I was saying, man, like I said, it's been a little bit tough for me to get good at this game over the past couple years, mainly because I haven't really stuck with it. You know, I haven't really uh, played this game all year round. But this year, I'm definitely planning to, man. It's just that in years past, if I'm being completely honest, the Mariners have just kind of sucked. And it's kind of made me lose my interest in the game itself, which is weird because I think even if the Seahawks sucked, I'd be interested in Madden but I guess it's the fact that I'm just not that great at this game you know in general so I mean this year I'm just like really into baseball you know I'm really in to the Mariners I feel like they're going to be really fun to watch at least in the next couple years just for the first time in a while I'm actually really excited about the Seattle Mariners so I mean I guess retroactively I'm excited about this game and playing with like players from my team in the game I don't even know but this year I have a lot higher hopes you know for this series for this game just for videos on this game in general and hopefully for my real life team the Seattle Mariners they really hope they turn it around but you know what getting into this video man getting into the gameplay you know you guys will see you know the players that I have on my team kind of progress as we go along if I decide to get rid of some people or if some people really step up and play really well you know starting off in this game a lot of people have done well Charlie Blackman George Springer to name a few and then uh, we do have our creative player man now the creative players work kind of weird mine's only a 65 overall right now and then when we upgrade him more, you know, he'll become like a 70, 75, 80. And then we'll get him, you know, higher, higher overalls. But right now he is a 65 and his name is Jeremy Jam. Now, I'm not not sure if anybody's familiar with that name. But if anybody happens to watch Parks and Rec on Netflix and has gotten to season five, my boy Jeremy Jam is one of the funniest fucking characters on that show. So I ended up just naming my guy after Jeremy Jam. And uh, yeah, went ahead and named my guy after a, uh, a TV character. Very original, but you know, I didn't want to name him Dangerous because if I'm planning to do a road to the show, which I am, uh, I do want to name him Dangerous and kind of carry him over from the Madden series as well. So I didn't want to have two different, like, or two of the same dude in two series, you know what I mean? So I wanted to make the one of my Diamond Dynasty team a little bit, you know, unique compared to, you know, my Dangerous guy that's basically based after me that we're going to be doing a road to the show on and we have done a career mode on in Madden, which I'm going to finish up, I promise. Hopefully, I'm Hopefully I've uploaded a video by now of that, trying to get back into that uh, Madden 19 career mode. But I want, to, I want to finish that up, go into Road to the Show, and then of course get deep into this. Is right here, I make a dumb decision. I don't know what I was doing right there. I ended up going with Charlie Blackman who has like 58 speed. Not very smart, man. You know, just a pitch in the dirt that was not... I don't know. I, I should not have gone. That's the bottom line, man. So you know what? 3 to nothing right now. 2-0 count. We do have, uh, who is at the plate? Buster Posey's actually at the plate, and he nails one to right field, but unfortunately, he's right at the right fielder. That was a pretty good hit, but unfortunately, like I said, it was right to the right fielder, but we have not given up a hit so far in this game, so we've started off pretty solid through two innings, you know, not really um, expecting this, honestly. I was not expecting to do this well going into this game starting off 0-2, but this guy's team was kind of on par with mine. I think he had one diamond as well, a couple golds. Maybe I had one or two more golds than he did. But our teams were pretty much evenly matched. And one of the games that I got matched up with previously, the guy had Mike Trout. 
So that's... That's no bueno. I honestly have no idea how people even have Mike Trout. I mean, the prices for the stubs are insane. I thought I remember like back in MLB 15, the show, you could you could get like 75K stubs for 20 bucks. Now it's like 24K stubs for 20 bucks. It's almost like a dollar a thousand stubs, which is pretty crazy, man. So I mean, for people that, you know, buy Mike Trout for like 300 or 245 or whatever he's going for, to buy him for real money? That's like almost $300. Like, it's not, no fucking joke. If you buy two $133, like, 150K stub things, you'd get 300K for almost $300. It's crazy. The the prices right now are a little bit insane. Like, I, I, I don't know. I'm a little bit on the fence about even spending money on this game because it seems so insane compared to what it used to be anyway. I don't know. Maybe it was just too easy to get great cards back in the day, like back in Madden 15, or Madden 15, back in the show 15 and stuff like that or show 16, whatever. I just don't remember the prices and the cards being this crazily priced. So I don't know, man. But you know what? This game continues to go on and we continue to throw a... Uh, Throw a little mini no-hitter here th or through three innings, man. I mean, not too bad, but we do end up uh, attacking on one extra run to make it four to nothing. I think it was just an another ground out. That was pretty much it. But, you know, four to nothing right now, we pretty much got this game in hand. We just got to lock it up and not, you know, give up any type of hit, man. It's really hard commentating fucking baseball when you're so used to commentating football. I say lock up. I mean, I guess it's technically the same thing. We just don't want to give up any hits. It's right there. We actually do end up giving up our first hit. But I believe it was to Chipper Jones. And this dude, weirdly enough, decides to steal with Chipper Jones? I mean, I know baseball, man. I mean, I'm not like a baseball guru. But when I was younger, I, I loved baseball. I knew all that type of stuff. And I don't think at any point in Chipper Jones' career could he steal bases. Especially not on that card. 46 speed on that card. I don't know what that guy was doing, man. I really not buried, or I hadn't really buried any pitches in the dirt. So I don't know why he would have would have gone or maybe he was guessing I would throw a curveball but I think I ended up throwing a fastball and even if it was a curveball I think I still would have got him so you know right now top of the fifth inning four nothing we do have our pitcher up to bat and he actually walks I, I mean I'm, I'm a little bit lost for words there as you can tell I'm just uh I was a little bit surprised with that man I mean usually I go up to to bat with the pitcher expecting to waste at least three pitches and then you know once I get to 0-2 I'll protect with the contact swing but the guy just kept pitching around me and we end up getting a walk with our pitcher, Patrick Corbin. But then, unfortunately, we get two quick outs. We strike out with George Springer. And then Charlie Blackman does end up grounding out to, uh, to the second baseman or shortstop. I don't know. One of those two guys doesn't really matter. We end up, you know, grounding out. That's the bottom line. So right now, we're just going to try to continue to protect our 4 nothing lead. And Patrick Corbin has done really well, man. A card that, or a player straight up that I'm not that familiar with. I think he plays for the Reds is is what they said he played for, or, or what team it said he played, I don't know, man, I like, honestly, I, I don't even know who Patrick Corbin is, but you know what, 82 overall, he's pitched pretty damn well for us, um, he has actually had a lot of the starts in my Conquest games, and weirdly enough, his, uh, his record's a little bit skewed, because he has like two or three losses through the Conquest games, I'm not very good at this game, man, like losing Conquest games kind of sucks, but I did try to play him on like All-Star and stuff like that, so maybe my team just wasn't that good, as we have an embarrassing-ass play that I'm trying to talk over because it, it was embarrassing. I ended up misplaying a hop like crazy in left field uh, with, is it Robert Acuna? Or wait, what's his name? I don't know, Acuna Jr. He ends up just completely missing that one. And then right here, this guy tries to get me with the cheese. The good old mind game pickle where you're trying to, you know, go back to home or go back to third before the guy actually throws the ball. And the guy actually got me a couple times, man. Like he headed towards home. I threw it back to third. If he would have just kept going, he probably would have scored in, in all honesty, man. But Instead, he ends up going back and forth one too many times, and even with me fucking up, throwing to the wrong person multiple times, throwing it too early, we still get the out. So, you know, we get back on offense four to nothing, and uh, this guy decides to quit. Okay. A pretty good first episode, man. I mean, obviously, I did leave out the first two losses that we had, but again, that was kind of before I had practiced. I had, you know, kind of just gotten my team together, didn't do any conquests, really didn't do much, and was like, yeah, let's try to play a ranked seasons game. Bad idea. Like I said, I got matched up against Mike Trout in one of them, and the other one, the guy just owned me. So you know what? We started out 0-2, but this episode, the first episode of the series, we get the win. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know if you want to see more, and as always, I'm out. Peace.